so in today's in today's session we are going to discuss about the scheduler and scheduler is very easy topic so like here you see a uh, scheduler is nothing but the service the first of all it's a back end part right so any job job is nothing but your object or you, maybe you can say it's a task so it particular time or interval of time so any task if you want to execute it or you want to perform it then you need to go with the scheduler that's it we like consider now i'll just give you the same example like you guys have a birthday so our friend's birthday is there in maybe a 11th month and today we knows that but in future we don't know so today itself only will schedule that's it today only will schedule so whenever the birthday will come or that date will appear that time what we will do automatically the scheduler will execute automatically we don't need to do anything even we don't need to send even a message right uh, today you need to write some code this code will execute in the 11th month that's it so we can create a scheduler in two ways first of all you can use a whiteboard pattern and second one you can use a scheduler api even by uh, by using a whiteboard pattern also we can create but this is not the recommended way why it's not recommended way then so it has replicated now mostly we are using a scheduler api that means they have created a scheduler api and using this schedule api that means already they have provided the methods using this method we can easily schedule so if you want to schedule it schedule api you need to uh, schedule method you need to use if you want to unschedule it you can simply use unschedule method you want to set the name of the scheduler you can simply use the name method right so they have provided the scheduler api you can use it okay yeah this is what the whiteboard and this is what the scheduler api so this is what a uh, where we have a scheduler so when we will use the scheduler api there we have one scheduler that means it's nothing but the ohj service only right everything in your aem it's ohj service except sling model so in the sling model will not use add direct component except that everywhere we use add direct component right and this is the scheduler api the scheduler interface it's present inside this package that's called as a org apache sling dot com as the scheduler why we use it to schedule basically we use the scheduler to schedule a job or cron based jobs right maybe we have a multiple ways to schedule it we have a multiple ways to schedule the jobs right so you can execute it you can execute a job in multiple ways so first one you can execute it through a date you can execute the job through a date as well that means through a date you can execute through a time you can execute maybe sometimes you can use a cron based jobs okay so using a cron based that means expressions only the expression you are using so indirectly it's a date but this date will convert into an expression maybe a one 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 just like that like this it will it will convert so you can execute through expressions you can execute through a date you can execute through a time or even now also you can execute so we can use a now i show you all these things okay. so this is the thing so uh, this scheduler have a methods by using that we can easily schedule it so first one at at is nothing but the date so you can schedule it through a date like so for that we need to use the at but if you want to call this method you need this scheduler this is the scheduler we need okay you can simply use the at method just like that create a scheduler options to fire a job once at a specific date only one time it will call make sure that uh, this method will call only once but here you need to mention the date but now with the date i need to mention the time and the second as well so in this you need to mention uh, you, you need to use this at method with these three parameters so date times and the period right so this one is also execute at the one at uh, only one time it will execute but we need to mention the times and periods right expression through the expression also we can execute it expression that means uh, we need to go on the google and we need to where we have a lot of applications using that we can convert a normal date into an expressions and we can execute it it's up to you now you have schedule in the 11th month consider now you have schedule in the 11th month but now you want to check like seriously that executing or not like we have schedule in the 11th month but that 
schedule actually it is executing or not or if it is executing what is the output it is giving right so if this if these types of scenario scenario it is coming then uh, you need to use now method so at least now it will execute okay now it will execute right so when you will use the scheduler dot now so it will execute now but you want but this method only once it will execute only in the once it will execute but if you want to execute more than that here you need to mention how many times you want to mention and after how many iterations that means how many seconds so i just simply want to execute three times after five seconds so first time it will execute and it will wait for the five five seconds and again it will execute the second one again it will wait for the five seconds again third time it will execute and later it will execute wait for the five seconds so if this types of you want you can use this now method with two parameters yes this one this four method we are using only for defining only for defining the schedulers right but actually want to trigger it then we need to use this scheduler method schedule it uh, what it will does so this is what your job this is this object job this is nothing but your job so this is this is nothing but you want to execute and when you want to execute so in this four method we have defined this four it has returning a schedule option see so this is what the schedule options here you need to mention what you want to execute and when you want to execute that's it in the scheduler you can even maybe a scheduler has scheduled it you want to unschedule then you can use this unschedule method you can simply use this unschedule method but in this unscheduler in this unschedule method okay so in this unschedule method you will see one option that is a job name so we need to mention here scheduler name but in this scheduler we don't have this method the specified method we don't have so manually we need to create the code for defining the name like how we can set the name right so manually we need to define so that's why they they got idea and they have introduced the concept of schedule options so this is what our schedule options so this schedule options provide some this is what we can say extensible way of your scheduler or it provides some extra functionality to your scheduler right in the same package it's available but here we have a job uh, this schedule options we can create it by using a scheduler uh, by using a scheduler service right so here you see we have a add method this add method does returning a scheduler options so it has some methods so here we have a config first this config what actually it will does so it's if you have a scheduler and you want to pass some extra information just like the vendor name vendor name of the scheduler who is the organizer right what is the uh, what is the url what is the link all these things you can pass by using this config so it accept key value form later that you can even set the name of the scheduler by using this name and here uh, maybe the scheduler you want to execute or maybe uh, multiple scheduler will try to execute the jobs right so if you want to simultaneously or concurrently if you want to perform it you can use can run concurrent okay let's try with the code maybe somewhere i have already defined or we need to define now Okay, this is what the scheduler we have. Right? This is what the scheduler. We can create our own schedulers. So right click over here, right click, create a file and give the name of your scheduler. Give the name of your scheduler. So here I just simply mentioning scheduler example. Example.java. That's it. 
so i have defined the scheduler and this is the class we need but make sure that now what we are doing so here we are just defining a schedule right we are defining a scheduler maybe by using a date maybe by using a time or maybe by using a cron expressions right so this is what our informations so you cannot hard code it directly okay you cannot hard code it so what we need to do is we need to create OHGI configurations so why we use this OHGI configuration the main that is in previous in our Java we'll create a variable like this right company and we'll pass the constant value here he will pass the constant value but this is not the good way or the recommended way here you see the search directly I'm passing in this company that means anyone can access this value but we need to make this value as private so for that they have introduced the concept of OHGI configuration so you need to create the OHGI configurations and after that that particular path that means by using that you can access the OHGI configuration will block it I'll show you come here now here you need to mention localhost 4502 system console bundle hit enter so once you are coming uh, we need to sign in i haven't signed in first okay so this is what the bundles that means here uh, when we'll discuss about the ohgi that time we'll discuss this thing no issue but here we have options of ohgi and there you will see the configuration click there So we got the value now uh, here this is nothing but the OHGI configuration so OHGI configuration you can access through this path where it is yeah this is the one right by using this path you can access the OHGI configuration later later if it is secure we will simply block this request so your senior developer will block this request and no one can access this so if you want to access you need to take the permissions so they what they will do they will create a users okay and they will create they will create the user and they will give you the credentials just like that admin and admin okay and to this particular user to this particular user they only mention uh, they will block this path that's it this is the path they will block okay so they, this is the particular block they will path uh, they will block it that's the thing that's the thing okay so how it looks like so when you will just click here you will see here the name this is the name of your OHGI configuration anything you can open so this is what the name this is what the description and this is what the data types this is what the field let's try to create it uh, before creating this I am going to create OHGI configurations so just create a file and just mention OHGI OHGI configurations configuration demo dot java hit enter make sure that we need to create the added interface this is nothing but your annotation this is what our annotations all right so this is the annotation we need to use but this is what it's a plain annotation now we need to convert this annotation into an OHGI configuration so for that we need to use object class definition one annotation we have we need to use okay this is the annotation we need to use and import it that's okay here we need to define the name object class definition that's great after that we need to define the name of your OHGI configuration so here I'm just defining search search demo that's the thing and here you can even define the description if you need creating scheduler yeah that's the thing 
okay so now we have created a dialog that means our oha configurations but we haven't created oh why we are getting error oh we have imported no okay so now we have created that's okay but now we need to create the field as well so field we can create by using attribute type attribute definition by using that we can create a field so first when you just mention the name this is nothing but the name in the left hand side mention it so scheduler name you can define scheduler name and here you can define even a type type you can define so type you can get it uh, from the attribute type attribute type or uh, here you need to mention the string yes uh, make sure that we need to import it so whenever we will add uh, we need to import these things that's okay we have imported okay that's okay so this is the thing even you can mention the descriptions uh, this is what the descriptions are uh, into the scheduler name enter scheduler name that's it A capital attribute spelling rights. Let me write once attribute type. Yes, there is the one. Something went wrong with our Visual Studio Code. That's okay. So, just like that, here I have created the one. Maybe maybe we need a concurrent, maybe it, it can run concurrently. So, for that, we need a Boolean value, right? So, here boolean you can mention boolean and whenever you will write the methods whenever you will use the annotations for that we need to use the methods as well so this method it has returning a string you need to accept as a string and define the name so get the scheduler name this is the method we have defined even you can pass the default value you can pass a default value so scheduler name here it's a practical practice is scheduler name yes this is the one that's great now just like that here there's the boolean we are just accepting so here can run concurrently can run concurrently yes true otherwise fall you need to select that's it here i'm just defining a method so it accepting a boolean so we need to use a boolean here uh get can run con current play con current you can mention that's it and default here i just mentioning true okay that's great just like that we have a lot of values you can simply use it in this case i'm using a cron expressions so paste it and mention the cron expression cron expressions and here you can even mention the cron expression is in string right enter cron expression that's it enter the cron expressions public string get cron or you can simply mention the cron expression or get the cron expression it's up to you and uh, default cron expression i'm passing so how we can uh, how we can get the cron expression so just go on the internet use cron maker and this is the website we have just open it try to open this website or we have a lot of website right using that you can convert the normal oh, getting error just select another one 
yes here we have see so every second every second this one will execute every second this one will execute so maybe somewhere you will see this is the one this is the one will execute right so just select the two maybe the cron expression will change uh, so this this one is for every second this one is for every minute so we need a minute one so just try to copy we have a lot of website not only the one you can go and uh, if you need for the seconds you can see and just convert it this is the one I got yes so default value even we are passing is there anything anything left uh, like uh, we need to enable the schedule or something that's okay these, these things are okay right so that's okay now using this scheduler use uh, using this OSGI configuration will try to create a scheduler so here I am coming and already we have created right scheduler scheduler example this is the one and the thing is scheduler is nothing but the OSGI service Copy and come here. Okay, so uh, scheduler is nothing but the OAGI service. So for that, we need to use a direct component and make sure that we need to use a service, right? And here I'm using a runnable dot class. I'll tell you why I have written this. So first thing. If you want to create a scheduler, we have a two options. You can use a runnable interface or either you can use a job interface. So in this session, we are we are going with the runnable. So here I am using a runnable. So whenever you will implement something, so this is what our class. And this class, if it is extending or implementing something, this thing you need to mention here. That's it. And this runnable interface have one method, we know that, and the method name is run method right add implemented method yeah so this is the method i'm going to add and close it yes excellent nice so after the execution immediately i want to execute so for that immediate is equals to true i'm mentioning immediate is equals to true i have mentioned right now i need to call i need to call to whom i need to call to this OHGI configuration so this is whatever OHGI configuration right so already we have defined the value here this value we already have defined this is the value we need to call to this we need to pass to this scheduler so for that here we need to use at the rate designate this is the designate we need to use and we need to pass the OCD just define the name to whom you are just calling so I am just calling to this OHJ configurations demo right I am calling to the OHJ configurations demo that thing okay now whether the scheduler it is executing or not so for that here I am just uh, writing a logger I am just debugging so for that we need to use the logger log is equals to logger factory dot get logger and here you need to mention the class name so scheduler example dot class that's it yes schedule example dot class and uh, after that make sure that whenever you will uh, importing we need to import this uh, slf 4j org slf 4j we need to import then only this log all will work yeah the first thing is done after that here i'm using at the rate refresh and this is the scheduler we need to call it yes scheduler scheduler 
you need to import it over the apache commons dot this is the one we need to import yeah that's great so this is what the out of the box uh, out of the box ohgi service so and this one is our scheduler so basically this one this class is nothing but our scheduler and scheduler is nothing but the ohgi service only so we can say this uh, scheduler example is a ohgi service and this is the scheduler it's also an ohgi service so one service you are calling in another so for that we use this add direct reference that's it so this is what the scheduler api using the scheduler api we are calling we are executing our task right what what's your task you need to mention inside this run so here i just simply mentioning logger.info uh, scheduler has executed scheduler has executed that's it so this is the thing i am mentioning so this is my task now when this task you want to execute so this thing you need to mention here or you need to set so here i'm just setting here you need to mention well this is the task you want to execute that's okay but when so when you want to execute that thing i'm writing inside this init method and init method here in in the above of the init method i'm using this address active and this one we use to whenever you are uh, when we deploy and our bundle is in active state that time this method will call so how this happening because of this active annotations because of this annotations only it will uh, this init method will execute okay yes so it's not a good thing to call inside this uh, activate method the entire logic we cannot write inside this activate method so for that what we will do is like we'll separately will create one method public void add schedule or something okay here we'll write our all the logic and this is a, this is the method we'll call to this add schedule that's it this is our logic just like that here we have a deactivate as well so add the rate uh, deactivate annotations public white and uh, deactivate name is not important this name is not important this annotation is important just like that here we'll call to deactivate method okay Sh scheduler deactivate uh, this is the method we need to call public white white scheduler deactivate yeah there is the one so here we need to write the logic now so inside this add add the scheduler we need to write the logic and uh, how we can write the logic so first thing we already have there so what we will do here we will create the object of oj configurations yes this is the configurations we have right now this one we want to execute it before that we'll mention log.info scheduler add method call this is the method has called okay after that uh, we can check it like if the scheduler has enabled then only we can call it so here where it is yes if this config have a enable scheduler oh we don't have a enable right we can even we can add it we can add uh, so add the red attribute definitions and here we can mention name and uh, enable scheduler you can enable the schedulers and here you can mention the type so attribute type dot boolean we need to write uh, forget about the description I'm not writing it and here public boolean uh, you need to define here enable scheduler enable underscore scheduler 
and default default I'm passing true great come here and now you can mention it here if this config it's having a enable scheduler then only it will come inside this method right and uh, we already have so inside this config again we have a get the cron expression so after every in inside this get cron expression we have defined this method right and this this is nothing but after every one minute this scheduler gonna execute right and uh, this method we need to call inside the scheduler so this scheduler we have in this scheduler we have a cron expressions right so scheduler dot you will see the cron oh just one minute scheduler dot yes here you see at method we have just like now you will see the cron oh I need to check manually yes expression we have expression is nothing but the cron expressions right and this is the one this value it is coming as a dynamic cut this value come here and paste it cut this value and paste it that's the thing now the scheduler is having expressions and we have passed the expression in the form of string and we are not hard coding in this case this is not the good way so we dynamically passing and this expression will return the object of schedule options yes so this one has written the object of schedule options so schedule options here I'm just defining so now this one we need to execute so how we can execute this even we can inside this schedule option is having a method can run concurrent now you can pass config dot can run concurrent this one also we have you can even set the uh, you can even set the extra value so for that you need to create here it will accept the map so you need to define the map here map string I don't know what it will accept string and object I'm just passing uh, hash map is equals to new hash map yes Okay, so here I have created right now you can mention hat map dot put and uh, you can add here string that means string like a URL so this is what the extra information we are passing you can create a lot key value pair and after that you can pass here so I just simply have passing here hash map you can even pass the company name it's up to you okay and at the last we can execute this so how we can execute it so for executing this we need to use scheduler options not the scheduler option the scheduler is having one method that is schedule and this is nothing but this run method this is nothing but this run method only and second one this so scheduler options so this is the one I need to execute and when in this time I need to execute in this what we have had this cron expression yes okay and here we haven't passed the OHGA configurations we need to pass so we need to create the object here OHGI configuration and here config create anything and pass this value here okay activated I think so we haven't imported we need to import the activate just like that you can even use a deactivate that's okay we are not getting any errors here in the config you are getting maybe here also it is accepting as an object string 
it is accepting as a string hash map hash map and here also we have added hash map somewhere it accepts serializable somewhere it accepts the serializable maybe because of that reason we are getting error yeah now this one has resolved okay this is what the scheduler we have scheduled the job just like that we can unschedule it as well so for the unscheduling here the method we have defined so scheduler dot and unschedule it unschedule and for that we need to create a OHJ configuration object because name we have defining inside this OHJ configuration demo right so config dot get the name yeah get the scheduler name so because this unschedule accept the name of the scheduler we got we have passed the name right and uh, here this scheduler deactivate it will accept the OHJ configuration demo OHJ configurations demo config and here also we can pass config that's it that's it okay now we need to deploy it and this two it will print just like a log info scheduler has executed and when it will uh, activate when our bundle will activate so in this case oh so when it will activate we haven't print anything so it will call to this method add scheduler and here we have a add scheduler this method will execute and this log info will print even if you want you can create your own logger that we already have discussed how to create a logger right create a logger deploy it and after that this uh, scheduler add method will call so this is the logger will print and after that this method will call okay and once this method will call this scheduler has executed this logger will print in your special logger okay come here and deploy it you can deploy it will take some time so i just closing this session here itself only